This video is designed to be a guide. Please note that other complications may exist that aren't addressed in this guide. Try all repairs and troubleshooting at your own risk. Be sure to take all the proper safety precautions. In this video we will look at a common symptom in TVs and one possible cause of the symptom and repair. The symptom that we are looking at is if your TV is only showing half the picture on the screen. One of the potential causes for this problem could be a connection on the TCON board. In order to check the connection on the TCON board, first unplug the TV and then remove the screws on the back of the TV and remove the cover or covers. Locate the TCON board in your TV and then remove the shield or cover that is over it if it has one. We have three connections at this TCON board. The single connection on top runs to the main board. These other two connections run to the buffer boards on the panel. If we had no picture on the TV screen, we could check the connection point that goes to the main board. But since we are seeing half the screen, we will focus on these connections at the bottom. Locate which side the picture is not showing up on your TV, and then check the ribbon cable connection on that side. First, be sure the ribbon cable connection is flush and inserted perfectly into the TCON, like shown on the screen. Be sure it does not look like these images, which are not perfectly inserted. If the cable is inserted correctly, and you are still seeing the half screen image, the first step is to lift up the tab and reseat the cable. If that does not fix the problem, then it is recommended to lift up the tab and clean the connection on the board, and then clean the ribbon cable as well with some isopropyl alcohol. Be sure the TV is unplugged while doing any of these troubleshooting steps, and wait for the alcohol to dry completely before reconnecting the cable and powering back on the TV. Reseat the connection and see if you now have the full screen image. If this does not fix the problem, you can repeat these steps on the connection on the buffer board to see if that fixes the problem. If repeating the steps on the connection on the buffer board does not fix it, then you most likely have a short in the panel. You would then have to replace the panel, which is most likely not possible, since replacement panels can be very difficult to find and expensive. 